How long is it going to take? Till till they start getting the ball and sorting some stuff out. Or well, at least not. Yeah. You mean until someone tells them to do something? Yeah, yeah, possibly that. Yeah, tell, tell, tell I mean, this is a good standoff. I'm enjoying the standoff at the moment. Yeah, you're looking across. Yeah. I'm tempted to kick this ball to them, but I just don't want to at the moment. I, I'm dying now. I even I want to kick the ball to them now. <laughs> I, and because it's not a rugby ball, they might go, oh, what's this one? Uh -huh. So 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, cool. no, that's a good number. No, I just said I'll go and get a game going. I try to kick, I try to kick. Oh, nice. Nice pass. In we come, lads. You want to come in? You cool? Come and hang with the coaches. Thanks for thanks for having us tonight, lads. Uh, would that be normal? You guys would run some stuff yourselves and be comfortable with that. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, what are coaches? Do you cool with me asking the coaches some questions? So I tell a joke to lighten the mood first. Time does Andy Murray go to bed? Tennis, tennis. <laughs> Got it. I'll tell you another joke, and you all get it in a different time period. So, have you seen the movie ET? Yeah. Uh, do you know what ET short for? He's got little legs. Take people different times to get it. Just put your hand up when you got it. You got it. Is there, not everyone's got it. Adults, has everyone got it yet? Not everyone. Some of them are putting their hands up because they're not quite sure, but they feel like they should put the hand up. He's got a little leg, so he's in stature. He's quite, sh he's short. So um, what type of stuff did you guys notice out of interest? What were the coaches noticing? Speed. Speed, yeah. Cool. Quick, quick support. Cool. Uh, hands up if you would play a lot of your time in the forwards. Wow, cool. That's pretty exciting. I was just chatting to your coaches. So you would all play multiple positions? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I was finding it hard to work out who were forwards. I didn't think it was that many. I'm excited by that. Uh, what else did people notice? Cool. So who tried the heel flick? Who tried that? Mate. I'll give you another go at it. If you can run towards the coaches, heel flick it over, and, 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 and in some way get it, they'll all do five press-ups. <laughs> then they're going to say, Mate, that, what do you mean unlucky? He did it. We'll get him to do it later. Cool. I love the fact you're trying stuff. Would that be normal that you try stuff? Yeah. That's good. And we spoke inside about environment. I think that's a good environment where you can you can try stuff. Just once though, when you get it wrong, we'll shout with you, yeah? In future. <laughs> what what other stuff are people uh, noticing? I think it was the same guy as well, so in here. Like quick question, why did you want to keep that ball alive? Uh, not keep the ball. Our team we had space outside and keep the overlap alive. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I actually don't think there's anything we can do here, lads. You guys just carry on. I coach a lot of teenage boys. Often they're just taking the mickey out of each other. Um, I haven't noticed that yet. Yet. Uh, cool. Um, would you? Would you? I mean, would you always play chicken scratch or would you play other versions of the game? You play offload game. Cool. Uh, who, uh, so someone made the. So someone did all the organising. Who was it? Someone said, oh, "We're going to play between the tens. We're going to do. We're going to play chicken scratch." Who was it? One of them. Yeah, you two between. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice. Ah, I enjoy the fact you're organising. Can we slightly change the game? So, um, one touch you can pass. Two touches. Um, it's a um, turnover. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Um, are you cool with six on five? I'm cool with six on five. Six on six. Oh, six on six. Oh, brilliant. Perfect. Damn, I don't get to join in. Um, so, 
Just going to try something. So there's a couple of things I want to try. I came up with an idea last night. I'm going to try it. So instead of me like always going, good, well done, if I come up to you and give you a fist pump, I want you to tell me why you think I've given you a fist pump. Okay? So what do you think I've noticed that's, that's good? And then if you, if you tell me how you're going to make it better, then uh, you get a second fist I mean, a fist pump's good currency around here in Henley. Yeah, ice cream's off. Ice cream's cool. So I've heard that if you get 10 fist pumps in the session today, uh, Max will buy you all an ice cream. And a pizza. Okay, and a pizza, <laughs> correct. <laughs> and a pizza. And he'll, get, and he'll go and get it and bring it here to you personally. Just eat. Just eat. Um, can we split you into two teams? They're going to try something. So uh, what are, if you think that you're a really good defender, um, go on this team. If you think you're a really good attacker and you're creative and you're going to kick, go on this team. So really good defenders. You guys might rip the ball, hold people up. So you guys are you guys are the good defenders and you guys are the good attackers. You guys have got to you got to pick someone who you think is a good attacker to come over here. Dan. Dan, Dan. Dan nice. Why'd you pick Dan? It's quick. <laughs> cool. So so it's going to be the defense against the attack, all right? Comfortable. So one touch you can pass. How many steps do you think you should be allowed? And then just turn over. Uh, no, it's one touch, so if, if you had the ball yeah. and, and I touched you, you then got two steps, you pass to someone else. But if another one of our players touches you, and these guys are really good defenders, then um, and my money's on these guys because they're really good defenders. All right? You guys off to kill to go and play? You can use whichever ball you want. Whichever. Do you want to use this one? Cool. Damn, I didn't want you to use that one. I only tried that, and I, I, I only because I saw Aiden do this the other day. So Aiden got the kids, and he said, look, if... Two teams, if you think you're a really good kick threat, go on this team. If you think you're really good at running threat, go on this team. And then just to see how it plays out. So I just want to know that if we prime them and say, best defenders here, whether they do defend really well on the other team attacks well. <coughs> I'm just playing around with stuff, if I'm honest. Great pass. I should have given you a fist bump. Yeah. This ball, this ball! Cheers, dude. Nice. Oh, I've got to do fist bumps. Come on, who's the best jumper? Who's the best at jumping on your team? Come on, Whitey. Come on, Whitey. Who do you think is going to give you a chance? Someone from this team. We're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, play. Nice. Whitey, second best. It's close. Okay, hold it, hold it. I'm going to bring this team in here. So uh, this team down this end. Coaches, you can come in as well. Um, priming, priming them on the defence didn't work. Uh, what? Uh, I thought you guys are the best defenders. How, give me some ways you can get the ball back. Interceptions. Cool, you get interceptions, you get a point for that. What else are you thinking? We're staying like, more spread out, so like, kind of like bunching. Cool. Let's try and get that double touch. Cool, so a double touch, that'll be another way I'll give you a point for that. Any other ways you can get the ball back? Pretty Hold it. Oh, thanks, mate. No. You could do that, couldn't you? Yeah. Would you, would you ever hold someone up and watch so the second guy could come in and get the second touch? Yeah. Cool. So I'll give you points for all that type of stuff. Um, what about like, if you were to score something behaviourally, what would it be? What would be useful to score? So what, some kind of, what are you thinking? Maybe like seven touches. Are you curious as to what I think you could score? Yeah. I think you could score like how good your communication is. So if, you'd, if I say something and you then do something, so if I say push left and you do it, then I think that would be a point. Lads, in order to, uh, by the way, you can go and get him. Uh, in order to keep the ball, you're going to catch this one-handed. You're going to catch it one-handed. Turn over. Play. You guys are so honest. I love it.
Go, there's a point, it's a point. Two points. Here, this thing, this ball, this ball. Pass. I could have just have taken this. Three points. Oh, that would have been class. Cool. Uh, I want one person from each team who thinks they're good at uh, pushing. Luke. Come on, let's go, lads. So you can either, it's your choice. You can either do a scrummage or you can do a sumo. Which one do you want to do? Scrum, mate. The big fellas. You ready? Crouch. Best, uh, your three second push. Bind. Set. Go. One, two, three. Play. I know he won, but I want to see how these guys react. <laughs> this ball, this ball. You got a minute to get to 10 points. Great kick. Great kick. This ball, sorry dude, this ball. Seven points, give him the ball, kick the ball to them. You have 30 seconds to get three points. It's eight points. Well done. You gotta catch this behind your back to keep it. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Mate, that's so skillful. Okay, we come lads. Do you guys need a drink? Okay, lads in Henley don't need water. There's so much river space. Do you want to come in, coaches? Um, how, what do you think the score, scoring system was? So the other team, what do you think? Okay. Cool. So they're getting points for getting the ball back in different ways. Um, did you? How many people did you tell? No. Cool. So that would be pretty typical. Maybe we'll go into a tactical game now. Uh, did it change your behaviour? So did you go for intercepts and stuff? You, tr you tried some stuff. Uh, there's some stuff I'm always thinking about with, I mean, uh, should that be a touch? Should that be a touch? You need to get into good habits. For me, that would be a touch. If you were, if you were in Saracen's uh, area, then, then a touch would probably be a full tackle. So, uh, but I think it's good habits. So for coaches, just something to observe is how good they are at getting, moving their body and stuff and getting into good positions. It'll prevent injuries. It'll stop concussions because actually you're managing the situation better. Um, the one that no one does, how many opportunities do you think you missed to rip it? Lots. Uh, it's really, I, I think they would appreciate that feedback. Would you guys appreciate the feedback that if you ran in with the ball in one hand and they ripped it off you, that might change your behaviour? Cool. I'm loving your skill level, by the way. What are the coaches thinking? Yeah, it's really, it's really strong. So what I'm going to get you to do is, we're going to play a game and just really see how this goes. Each team's going to go and have a, a bit of a 30 second chat. You're going to decide on how you're going to defend. Okay, so you, but you're going to defend in a fixed way. And then the other team have got a, uh, they get a point if they score, but they get 10 points if they work out how you're defending and score against it. So, imagine they're doing a blitz. Ooh, give me a solution you guys might have. Check over. Cool, sweet. So exactly like that. So, but I, I want you to, when you've scored, you've got to turn around and you've got to shout at me and the coaches, this is why we did what we did. Make sense? So you guys have got uh, 30 seconds in your teams to come up with a way of defending. What uh, what are you guys thinking? The defence dream team. Uh, have, a... have they got all the best attackers? Have they got lots of good attackers on their team? Yeah, yeah. So need to it's quite a challenge. So you do like a blitz drift. So. Mate, oh, what's a blitz drift? That's cool. 12, 13. Uh, so twelve goes for the ten. Thirteen goes for the twelve. Fourteen goes for the uh, thirteen, and then the ten and fifteen loop round. So have a two on one. Okay. Cool. So so you guys are gonna blitz. 
But then, who's, so you th you're saying that people, are you going to have a sweeper to cover the edges? Yeah, I think we should do, because yeah. they kicked so a lot. Be a, cool. Be a so can, so can I, so, uh, do you want the fullback deep or, or shallow? Uh, uh, what would help your system, deep or shallow? It'll probably be deep, because you have the 12, 10 covering, but if they don't, chip it over the top. Um, cool, so you're going to go deep fullback, everyone else is going to blitz. Yeah. You guys have got to convince them it's a drift, though. Do you think you can convince them that it's a drift? Yeah. I think they'll just listen. Uh, just tell me, lads. Tell me, lads. What's yours? What's yours? Uh, just blitz with fullback. Bl blitz what? With the fullback. Cool. Well, where are you going to put your fullback? Deep or shallow? Sh uh, shallow. Cool. I don't Sweet. Very much, so. and if they do, then. Oh mate, right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we'll don't have a fullback. See if they notice. Yeah. No, because they will kick. Oh. Out. Yeah. Do you not think you guys are quick Four enough to ahead. get back? Four ahead, like, probably, but. Oh, yeah. I like the way you're thinking, though. That's cool. Same as we discussed. Uh, who caught it behind his back? Cool. We'll go higher this time. Turn over. Play. Turn over. Two touch. Turn over this ball. Pass ball, pass ball. It's gone, dude. That's not a touch. That's not a touch. That's a touch. Uh, this team's ball. If you can catch it one handed above your head. I'll give you a play. I'm feeling kind. Cool, freeze, freeze. So, do you want to just pass the ball back? No one move, it's cool. Uh, coaches, this, I mean, I don't know how much people have been looking off the ball, but this would be a pretty typical picture off the ball. So, how long was the ball here for? Roughly, how many seconds? 2.25, cool, nice. Uh, what were you guys doing while the ball was here? You're now just all gradually working your way back. I like it. This would be really typical. Um, so, defence stay where you are. If um, you guys had those 0 0.25 seconds again, what would you do? May, that was good. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is, if two people on the bounce take the ball standing still, it's a turnover. Cool. So, you're going to have to think about your depth off the ball. Play. Very decision, man. Don't do Nice, Matt. Everyone close their eyes. Put your hand up if you would, uh, you would better garlic bread from Max that uh, you know how the opposition are defending. No one yet? You think they're blitzing? Cool. How many people have you told? Cool. Does that make sense? So, is he, is he, is he your team, do the rest of you think he's right? Cool. He's right, he's right. Let's play. you got garlic bread. So you've got chicken dippers, garlic bread, pizza, and, and free ice cream. Great decision. Okay. So... I'm going to check, so you guys are now allowed to pick one of these guys to play on your team. Who do you want? One of these teams coming on your team. Who? Harry, you're on their team. Why'd you pick Harry? Nice. Uh, two from each team, please. We'll go for the uh, uh, scrum. I'll tell you what, so, do, 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 so let's go two against one, and you've got to hold your body position. See if you can do it. Do you think you can do it against two of them? I don't know. Let's give it a go. Do you guys know what you're doing? Crouch, bind, set. What do you do? Anything you do different, dude? Anything you're thinking? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe get a bit lower. Yeah. Come on, freeze. Everyone back to where they were. Do you want to replay? Do you want another go at that pass? Come on, Jack. 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 Come on, Jack.
what I want you to do now is uh, is go find us someone on the opposite team. Uh, and we call that he's, he's already he's already moved back onto that team. He's he's already left you. How are you guys feeling about that? <laughs> wow. So find someone on the opposite team. I'm going to join in with these guys a bit. Uh, just a conversation. So it might be, uh, uh, my name is Rusty Grifter. Nice to meet you. Uh, that's my Magic Academy name. What's your name? Uh, Monty. Monty, correct. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I'm trying to work on my kicking. So I'm going to kick with my left foot and right foot to score. What are you trying to work on? Uh, probably my kicking as well. Cool. So we'll play this game. Uh, We'll have to be on opposite teams. Uh, first one to kick to score with their left and right doesn't have to tell a joke. Uh, cool. We got a good joke. Wait, kick to score where? Uh, so kick to another player who then scores, or kick to yourself and, and score. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Make sense? Sweet. Because everyone grab someone on the on the other team and just have a similar conversation, either around a super strength or something they want to get better. Oh, Coaches, feel free to listen. <laughs> I've, I've used this a lot when, often when sessions have gone completely awry and I'm thinking they actually need some focus here so I, and I do think and people have transferred it to the classroom so um, I've seen teachers now who get them just to write and the, and the kid who's struggling to concentrate a lesson has written I'm going to concentrate put it on the whiteboard and lo and behold he concentrates um, now this is useful for us as well because especially if you don't know the kids you might start to understand what they're trying to work on um, and it's, it's often interesting. So what, uh, give, me, give me some examples of conversations. So what have you guys been talking about? I have to score off a kick. Nice. I mean, we're all going to be kicking now, which is exciting, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to be like yeah. Saracens. Uh, so both, how many, kicks, how many scores of kicks? Just one. As many as possible. Many as possible. So whoever gets the most. What are you guys? Hopefully it's not kicks as well. It's kicks, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Is everyone just excited about kicking? Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Tell me. Us? So, yeah, what, what did you guys talk about? Catching off the kicks. So, catching, okay. What, what did you talk about? What, number of passes? Yeah, no, we can't, off the weekend. Oh, off the weekend. So, you left handed, right handed? <laughs> You're not sure? <laughs> okay. Cool. Sweet. So, you guys are trying to look at effective passes off. Great. Awesome, so should we play a game? Uh, s s uh, rock, paper, scissors. I've heard you two are the best. First to two. Uh, whoever loses, start, their team starts two scores down. Good motivation. One nil, first to two. Is anyone there? It's one all. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh mate, he threw it away. I'm going to join in with you guys. I'm going to have a run around, get my steps up. Oh, on your right, on your right, on your right. Oh, he didn't notice, he didn't notice. It's our ball, knock on, knock on, knock on, our ball, our ball. Hands right, hands right, hands right. That's not a. Oh. How are you doing on your challenge? What's your challenge? Okay. Good turn over you two. Two to a job ball. Okay, we're on right, we're on right. Great sport. Great, nice. Push, push right, push right. I'm on your right. <laughs> Was that useful having something you could focus on? So you made your line break there. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. How are you feeling about that? Good. Cool. I was gutted that someone stopped me getting my second kick to score. Who, who went round back at sweeper? Was it you? Yeah. Don't do that again, dude. <laughs> um, so we could do that and you... You could just be having conversations with each other all the time about it. About like scenarios, so starting two scores down type stuff. Useful. It's more pressure, right? Yeah. I was down in Devon the other day and the, and the lads played a game 
and just said, uh, whichever team loses, what will be a meaningful consequence? And they said, a losing team are going to promise to watch Emma Dale with their parents this week. So, who would enjoy doing that, lads? Who would think that was a cool thing to sit with your parents and watch Emma Dale? My parents don't watch it, so... You might have to make them watch it as well. Uh, but once again, let's make it meaningful rather than just dishing out physical punishments like they're going out of fashion. Actually, just give them some meaningful stuff, make it playful. Uh, in South Africa, the lads were the best kicker gets to... I'm not suggesting this. Text the, the loser's girlfriend. <laughs> that made you smile. You were excited about that one, weren't you? <laughs> you know the... You know the you know you're walking in, do you? Yeah. Turn and play! Turn and play! Turn and burn! I'll get you inside, I'll get you inside. Nice. Sweet. Um, what did you guys notice about us? Any stuff that was different? Deeper. Cool. So we were definitely getting the hang of that. What about defensively? Any stuff you noticed? If I do this, they might say like we're blitzing. Yeah, high press. It worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. worked, didn't it? High press, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. High press, cool. Yeah. High press. I mean, I just did that with my hands and it worked. Yeah. What else? What else? What else? Anything else? We're moving on our toes. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Cool. Who, who especially was on their toes? Yeah. Who especially was on their Which kind of people? Who were on his toes? Oh, mate, you were on your toes, weren't you? High press on your toes. All over it. Any other stuff? Any other stuff you noticed in defence? What was it? What was Ethan? What was Ethan's defence like? Give him some feedback on his defence. Pretty quick. Yeah. Well, what are you guys? He was quick. He was quick. What did you guys notice? He was good. He was good. He was class. I thought you were class. He was everywhere. What do you think that's for? What do you think the fist pump's for? Being really quick. Being really quick in defence. It's awesome. It was oh, awesome. Um, would it surprise you if some of our players were walking for that last five minutes, for the whole time? Which players do you think it was? I mean, Ethan's one, obviously we've handed up, but you still get the chicken drumsticks. Cool. I mean, it was, at one stage it was ridiculous. I thought you had your hands in your pocket. You were just looking disinterested, weren't you? Yeah. And I said to you, do you think they've noticed? He was like, they're not even looking. <laughs> <sighs> So, but once again, do you think that would be useful in a game to start to understand who are the people that are people to pick off in defence? I think it would be good, good if you do lots of training that looks like that. Um, then you'll just become really good problem solvers. What, what I've, you guys are brilliant in the moment, so you're really skillful. I guess the challenge is you play against a team and they're doing something and often people then just talk about it after the game. I'll say, oh, we should have done that. Oh, we didn't realise he was walking. Should we do one more round of that? So let's do something in attack. So a way of trying to score. You guys are going to come up with a way of trying to score. You go and have a conversation with half the coaches. We'll go here and we'll have a conversation. Whoever scores that way uh, wins the game. What are we thinking, lads? Given our strengths as a, as a team versus them. Loop around and get an overlap and then score. Okay. The score from like someone who passes it and loops. Cool. So I would call that like a second touch. So maybe when people are passed, they go and get a second touch yeah. in, the, in the build up to the score. Cool, nice. Who, uh, who should we try and annoy in their team? Is there someone you think? Matt. Who should, nah, so, nah, nah. Matt's uh, orange boots. Nice. So if you, if you can annoy him and get him really aggravated in this game, then the game's finished. We win the game that way as well. Okay. What are you thinking about? What type of ways are you going to do it? Rip the ball off him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Any other stuff we could do? Sneaky when the ref see it. Yeah, there's no ref. I'm the ref, mate, so you can do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this game lasts a long time now, because I want to see Matt. I want to see that. Let's go, lads. Oh my God, what are you doing? You guys cool? You guys cool with the rainbow call? Cool? Yeah. One on one, can't put it in. Yeah, Ready? Crouch, touch, pause, reload, reload. Wait a minute. Play, play. Oh, I can't touch. 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 Oh, I can't tou
Let's play, let's play, let's play. Yeah, come, 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 come round me, come round me, come round me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, in we come, in we come. Coaches, in we come. What do you think this game will make you better at? What do you think the downside of through the leg touches? Cool, so you play through the legs, come towards me, run into me as you would. Cool, everyone does that. Where have you looked? Down. Down. You're actually kind of born two hands, that'd be quite rare. You run into me, what do the support players do? So imagine you were the two support players, either side, so one either side. What would you guys do in a game of chicken scratch? So you go nine, you'd actually run away. Um, it's, pr it's possibly the reason why you would need to play more offload stuff because your support play would be, your, would be a lim is it a limiting factor at the moment, do you think? So I think so you'd notice that people are taking it in and there isn't support players. It's possibly because you're playing that game in, yeah. up at times. Um, I think I would then start to introduce rucks in this game if there was more people. Um, and then just give you a, so I might go, right, you've got two rooks to score. If I gave you 10 rooks to score, would you play differently to two? Yeah. Why? Cool. Cool. So you would now start to think about why you would have rook. Understand why we would have a rook or a through the legs incident, uh, as opposed to it just being the default. Does that make sense? And just then vary the numbers two or three or four or whatever it might be. Um, How'd you uh, how'd you find the, how'd you find the game? It's good. Nice. Is anyone did anyone get in, get into him properly? Did anyone get into Matt? Not really. Oh, mate, didn't he's just walk for ducks back, wasn't it? Do you get anyone? Did anyone have a go at trying to get him? Yeah. What did you do? What did you do to him? I ran into him. <laughs> nice. So we our, our challenge was we won the game if we put you off the game. So if we made you really angry, we won the game. Uh, no, you won. So you won some uh, chicken dippers. Um, what? Um, put your hand up if you think you would benefit from that in training a bit more as a player, like other players trying to put you off, put you off your game. Anyone? Cool. What's his super strength? What's he good at? Good at kicking. Good at brings a bit of physicality. And that that would be pretty typical for someone who's who bringing that kind of energy. Then actually, they're often the player that that might get agitated at times. Uh, what's he good at? Give me some, give, give him some love. What's his super strengths? Which guy, that guy? No, you. What are you oh, guys, man. you guys tell him what's he good at? <laughs> Catching yeah. or kicking, what else? I can't get How much fun is it on the wing when it's wet? <coughs> I mean, if you get the pool past you, it's pretty fun. It's cool. Slow. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what's, uh, what's the big fella good at? What type of stuff's he good at? You're good at rooking? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's, what's his super strength? Passing. Cool. How would you make him better? Be honest with him. Cool. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, he's better passing off the left You're right handed, aren't you? Yeah. Cool. Do you, don't no one tell him how many people here are left handed, do you know? Like two. Cool. Who do you think's left-handed? Uh, uh, Daniel, aren't you? No, it's, it's Matt and Monty, isn't it? Actually, Matt. Yeah, Matt. Cool. Will that be useful to know which hand people use? Yeah, left-handed. Right hand, left-handed. You're left-handed, but you're over-practiced. Cool. But, but that would be, so the best players would be recognising those type of cues. They would be useful cues to look for. Any other ways you'd make them better? So I'm hearing your left-handed passing. I'm hearing, like, at times you don't necessarily focus on your passing. Yeah. At full pace. So it is a hard skill. Yeah. How often do you practice passing at full pace against defenders? Well, like when I'm running with it or just passing for work? Uh, when you're running with it. Not often because 
I don't really run the ball often. Because you're often playing nine? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So you, you, the stuff you're not getting, so it's cool, you'll be really skillful at nine and ten, you get lots of touches. Yeah. The stuff you don't get to practice might be that. Yeah, or it might be off the ball stuff. Yeah. So that's why it's useful to play different positions. Yeah. So if you play 10, you get to understand what a 9, and if you play 12, you understand what a 10 does and all that stuff. Yeah. I think you would all be aware of each other's strengths and what you need to get better at. Uh, coaches, put your hand up if you'd have been a better player, if you know, knew then what you know now as a coach, all of us. To have you guys thinking like you are, and by the way, I thought you were, you were rocking it today. Um, actually thinking about how you can make each other better, you'll all become better players. So uh, maybe thinking about... How can I make other people better at the stuff I'm good at? So how can I make people better at rooking? How can I support them? How can I support people perhaps with the passing from the base stuff would be useful. Uh, coaches, can we give the lads a clap? I thought you <laughs> super skillful. If you could give a, uh, three pieces of advice to coaches, because uh, there's some coaches here, well, what would it be? Make it fun. Make it fun. Yeah. Short and, uh, short of time. Yeah, the Sunday mornings though has to be exactly two hours though, doesn't it? Because yeah. <laughs> it's like the designated babysitting time. Yeah. Cool, but I, I agree. Often it doesn't. It's nothing like the game. It's not the tempo of the game. Yeah. The game is actually sh stop, go again, stop. It's quite a lot of, of that going on. It would be useful to individualise stuff for you. Yeah. How? How? I mean, what? What, I, what I've noticed, and so speaking to someone like Sam Vesti, so Sam Vesti said throughout his career, he spent 90% of his time being in a team, preparing to be in a team, and 10% of his time getting better individually. I think if all of you, if you got better at your passing and, and other people got better at other stuff, then I think you'd be a better team significantly. Cool. Thanks, lads. Thanks, lads. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Have fun.